Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies, along with some extra goodies. The Pink Banded Scampi is a great little saltwater pattern that works especially well for bonefish feeding on shallow water flats. It sinks at just the right rate for most conditions and has a wonderful jiggy motion when retrieved. The fly starts with a super strong size 8 short shanked hook. After getting the hook firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise, load a bobbin with a spool of fire orange unithread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the eye and after taking a few wraps rearward, snip off the excess tag. Continue taking rearward thread wraps to about the midpoint of the hook shank. Then wrap forward and leave your thread a full hook eye length back from the back edge of the hook eye. Get hold of one of the pairs of bead chain eyes and place it diagonally on top of the hook shank. Start making cross wraps with your tying thread to anchor the eyes perpendicular to the shank. Then make yoke wraps on either side of the hook going over top of the eyes but beneath the hook shank. Follow the yoke wraps with flat wraps below the eyes but above the hook to pull everything together. End with your tying thread immediately behind the bead chain eyes. Make sure the eyes are level and at 90 degrees to the hook shank and that they're really well secured. Snip a small clump of the crinkly looking Lurex material free from the hank. While holding the snipped off end, measure to form a tail, a hook shank in length, then transfer that measurement to the start of the bend. Begin anchoring the material to the top of the hook shank behind the eyes as you take thread wraps rearward. Pull up and toward you on the material to make sure it lands on top of the hook shank as opposed to creeping down the sides. Next, make open spiral wraps forward, first to in back of the eyes, then pull the forward pointing material back and get your thread located in front of the eyes. Start taking wraps around the hook shank with the forward pointing material. Go all the way back to the base of the tail, then wrap forward. The idea is to create a shimmery, lightly tapered body on the fly. When you reach the eyes, cross wrap over top of them, then bring the material up and in front of them. Take tight wraps of tying thread to anchor it there. Once it's secured, you can snip the excess material off nice and close. Take a few more thread wraps to lightly cover the butt ends. Flip the fly over or rotate your vise so the underside of the fly faces up. Pull free two strands of the pearl crystal flash and fold them in half to form a small loop. With the loop extending past the hook eye, begin anchoring the material to the hook shank. Once it's adequately secured, snip the excess loop portion off close. Trim the remaining four strands of crystal flash off so they extend to about the same length as the tail of the fly. Pull or snip one of the pink rabbit fur zonker strips free from the others, then fold the ends of the hide together. Snip the strip to form two equal lengths and retain possession of one of them. With the first slanted back toward the rear of the fly, trim off the front corners of the hide into a point this will make it much easier to anchor the strip to the hook shank in front of the eyes with tight wraps of tying thread. Try to really cover up the hide as best you can, yet keep the thread head fairly small. Pick up your whip finish tool and use it to complete a five or six turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. If necessary, trim the zonker strip off so the hide extends just past the bend of the hook. Using a black permanent marker, make four or five bands going down both sides of the fur on the zonker strip to give the fly a more lifelike look. Finally, reach for your head cement and use it to fully saturate the thread wraps behind the hook eye. Make sure the wraps are coated all the way around. This will greatly increase the durability of the fly and ensure the rabbit zonker can't pull free. And that's the pink banded scampi, ready to be cast to an active bonefish on a saltwater flat near you.